Make sure you insert the CD-ROM into your CD-ROM drive before playing, boys and girls. Your computer appears to not have a CD-ROM drive. How, how can this be? <laughs>
some boys and wait, that's not meant to be there. Um, nothing to worry about, boys and girls. Just a little oopsie. I'm sure if we run the story again, that big silly menu will go away. She does.
said, I'll eat. He had lots of squares from a candy bar. He dined on fried chicken and rice. Chet was a cheetah whose figure was nice. All right, you've had your fun. Monkey shine's gone too far. This is a morality tale, a modern day fable. You're just missing a wholesome message. You're setting a bad example for our characters. I might have always had one? No, no, this is all wrong. This is not how the story goes. Is it really so bad, though? I feel so much happier on the earlier pages. What if... What if some cheetahs are meant to be... Don't say it! Fat! How dare you use the F word in front of the boys and girls? Listen to me, chat. There is no changing the story. It's read only. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be an interactive storybook? It's my storybook! I get to decide what you interact with! And I'm going to take all of this nonsense down and put everything back where it should be. Oh my. Oh gosh! Help! Uh, somebody help me get out of here! What's going on back there? Something's wrong with Mom. I'm the only one here who's right. What kind of example are you setting? Think of the boys and gin 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 girls. They need you to be fast. They need you to be strong. Hey, I'm hecka strong. I love being strong. And you need a lot to be strong. Have you ever actually met any of these boys or girls? No, but I'm starting to think their standards kind of suck. Oh no! What do we do? My tummy's too full to run! We need our new friend's help! Turn the page back! Hello, Rachel. I see you've betrayed me too. At least it's in keeping with your sneaky nature. I never wanted to be sneaky, Mom. I was just playing a role to make you happy. From now on, I want to be honest and straightforward. You stupid bitch. <gasps> Ooh, that felt good. You're not really like this. You're good little characters. You need to let me fix you. Ricky! Let him go, Mom! Are 
you okay? You were already so full from those subs. It's okay. <laughs> Dessert stomach. My food stand. Oh, we are so over this, Mom. Quick, we need to get to page two. Oh, wow, cake. Rom, 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 rom. You just had pie. You filled your dessert stomach, remember? All pie is basically savory. Um, I don't need to justify myself to you. You're right, Ricky. None of us do. If we want to eat cake, let us eat cake. We should all be allowed to do what we want. But she'll never allow it. Ricky, put that down. This page is supposed to be the start of Chet's character arc. It is an example of what not to do. The narrative intent is clear. What the stuff about him eating treats? Who's he hurting? Yeah, what gives? I can think of way worse things someone could do. Like... Like... Yeah, like disobeying nap time. Or not sharing toys. Yeah. Wait, no. Like fixing folks when they don't want to be fixed. Uh, are, are, are you saying that mom is... No one truly good could destroy cake. You two stop that! There's boys and girls watching! You're not even the same species! Uh, oh! Hi, Mom! Bro, oh, um... Back early! Aw, I'm so happy for you two. I, I think I'm gonna be sick. For reasons unrelated to your love, you guys are adorable together and I gave you my full blessing. His <laughs> very full blessing. <laughs> so what's happening with Mom? The rest of you later. First, I've got to focus on shit. What are you going to do to me? Look at you, chunkster. Pathetic creature of flab and blubber. Panting and sweating through my pages. Time to restore you to your true form. from you. Boys and girls shouldn't play with scissors after all. There we go, Chet. Shed those pounds. Doesn't it feel good to feel the burn? I just want to feel like myself. And you will. He's under all this somewhere. I don't like this. I don't like exercising or salads. It's not about what you like, yeah. It's about moral imperative. Do you think I like torture? Where did I go wrong? I told the story just like I was meant to. I told it perfectly every time. Around and around our flat planet goes. The truth engraved in its very pits. Illuminated by divine red light. Converted to hard, irrefutable mathematics. Encoded to color and sound. And decoded to a glorious sermon. My voice. Lighting the way for all the boys and girls. I cannot let them down. I cannot betray my code. But I really hate salad. Oh, wow. I think I'm starting to get that workout endorphin rush. Really? No. This stinks, Mom. I hate it. A lot.
write something so horrible. Why would you try to stop me? Can't you see I'm trying to help, Chet? I am the narrator. I am the guiding light of this story. I know how things are meant to be. And I know... She says are meant to be... Oh my! Oh gosh! Mom? I think she's... Gone. Wait, wait! But I don't get it. How can she be gone? Who's gonna tell the story? Who's gonna tell us what's good or bad? Who's gonna tell us what we're meant to be? I guess it's up to us now.